So check this out. I've got a prototype up and running. Um, all you have to do to send an example is to just do the three back ticks. And currently I've just got it set to um, REPL Quasar. And I'm imagining you could do some really cool stuff where you actually bring up the REPL where they can you know, actually create something and then just inject it into the message. But for now, we can just say REPL Quasar and I'm gonna do something really simple. I'll get rid of the script even and just do a template. So template and we'll do a button in there. Oh, I can't press tab. <laughs> that would be a nice feature. And how about we give it a label equal to, click me, classic, and I might as well just give it a color to make this pop a little bit. Let's make it blue. So I'll send that through. And there we go, straight away you just get an example and it uses Quasar behind the scenes. But as you can imagine, when you do the three back ticks and then REPL, you could have any kind of template here. It doesn't even have to be Quasar because basically um, Views REPL just allows you to pull in any CSS, um, any library, and then just use app.use on it. So that's all I've done with Quasar. I've just pulled in um, apps, um, the Quasar ESM library and yeah, I've just kind of shown it there. So now you can click on this little I button here that's going to show you that in a REPL so you can have a play with that example if you like. And I just wanted to show, um, you know, just to kind of give you an idea that everything works really well. If we come down here and grab a Q table example, so let's grab this one here because it looks the fanciest and go to all and then just copy that whole thing. Where's the copy button? There it is. And then we paste that in there. So we'll say REPL, Quasar. And of course you can type text above that as well. So we can be like, check this out. And then just whack that directly in there and send it through. And it's, it's really, really fast. It's amazing how quickly it renders. And there we go. We've got the example that they can then just come in here and play along with. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, another thing is you can have multiple in one message. So there's no reason you can't just say REPL Quasar and then just have two examples. So maybe we could grab this example and whack that in. But then you could say, you can also try this and then we'll go Quasar. No, what is it? REPL Quasar. And this could definitely be better. Like we could come up with some nice auto completion here and make it easy for users to create their own sort of REPL environments. And let's just find, I'll keep this short by finding another example that we've got here. Oh, sticky columns actually might not work because you'd need the CSS. Actually, let's check. Maybe that would work because the CSS is in the example. So we'll copy that, paste it in there and send that through. Yeah, okay, something went wrong there. <laughs> But then that shows up. And in fact, you know, you could have an example that's not working and then the other person can just kind of look at it and go, oh, okay, I can see what's going wrong there, fix it up. And I'm imagining we could have some really cool features where you can essentially just change things in here and then sort of resend it back to the user. So there's, man, there's just so many cool things that you could do with this concept. Um, and then of course, you know, adding something like channels would just be trivial after you've done all of this. Oh, what's going on here? There we go. Yeah, being able to add channels and having that on the left side, kind of like you do with Discord, would be trivial. And yeah, we could make it so you could delete messages. The, the only problem I think that we might have is security concerns. So uh, I, I don't really know how you would get around that. I don't have a good enough understanding. But then again, people always share examples online and we click on them and view them. So I don't know why that would be okay, but it wouldn't be okay to share a REPL like this. But it's definitely something to um, think about. So yeah, there we go. I thought that was pretty cool. I might actually put this into production so people can start having a play with it.